Hey everyone, it's Tim here from Web Hosting Canada. Today we're going to take a look at how to create and manage additional FTP accounts using cPanel. You can also find the written instructions for this tutorial in our blog, which will be linked in the description of this video. Creating an FTP account is useful in order to upload and manage files on your website, or when you've hired someone, such as a developer, to help you out with your website. Note that by default, each WHC hosting account already has an FTP account. That information will have been sent to you in the welcome email that followed when you opened your account with us. Let's now take a look at how to add additional FTP accounts. Log in to your cPanel account. In the Files section, click on FTP Accounts. In the Add FTP Account section, add a username for access to the FTP account, for example, John89. Check that your domain name is selected, or if you have multiple domains registered, choose the appropriate domain from the drop-down box. Add a secure password to connect to the FTP account. You can click on the password generator button to automatically create a secure password. Just make sure that you copy it so you don't forget it. Then click on use password. The directory is the folder in which this particular user will have FTP access. You can also set a quota, which is the amount of data in megabytes that can be stored by the user in this account. You can leave it at unlimited so as to not limit the available space. Then click on create FTP account and you'll now see a confirmation message confirming the account's creation. To get the login details required to make a connection from an FTP client, simply scroll down to the next section under FTP accounts, find the row that corresponds to your newly created account and select Configure FTP Client. From here, you can see the required manual settings. If the user uses Core FTP or Cyberdoc as an FTP client, a convenient auto configuration file is available in this section. Simply click the link to download the script file to your computer. When you open that file, the FTP client automatically opens, configures itself, and connects to your FTP server. To remove an FTP account, again from the FTP account section of cPanel, scroll down to the list of your FTP accounts, find the row corresponding to the account to configure, and choose delete. If you'd like to delete all files and folders linked with this account, click on delete the user's home directory, then delete. If you have any other questions about this topic, Feel free to leave us a comment, we're always happy to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel as we'll be back soon with more useful tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.